Thanks, guys. Currently down here on the sideline making my weatherman debut. And if I'm going to be honest, it's nothing short than dreadful as it has been the last few days here in downtown Buffalo. Current temperatures just in the low 40s with winds that have been upwards to 18 miles an hour. There's no more hail at this point in time, but expect rain throughout the forecast. Head coach Ryan Louie told me on Saturday that this is the type of style of games that they like to play in these poor weather conditions. Well, there's no better test than here today in a game that they have have to win if they want a home playoff game, guys. And we are underway here at the Dembski Complex. That's Marist in the red, the Golden Griffs in the white. The ball goes out of play, and Canisius will have it, and they will throw it in. The Griffs with the ball. And we're looking at Tiani Finodi, number five. And the ball rolls out of bounds, and that'll be a throw in for the Golden Griffins. Sophia Constantino will throw that one in. And here's Constantino. Nice pass there. Griffs with the ball, looking to get an offensive opportunity. Julia Schur had it. Pass goes out of bounds on the far side. Looked like Sure might have had a chance to drive it forward a little bit. Instead, she went, tried to get it to go wide, and unfortunately for her, that did not work. Sure, of course, out of Orchard Park. Here's Constantino on the near side, but the ball goes up a little too far for anyone in a white shirt. But there's Finotti. Her through ball attempted to get to Maddie Welton was blocked, and now the ball goes out of play. It will stay with the Golden Griffins. This is going to be an interesting game since both of these teams are so equal with their play. Well, the top six in the conference make the tournament. The top two get a bye, three and four host after that, and that's what Canisius is trying to do, become the fourth seed. Finotti gets the ball, and she's driving toward the net. Finotti in a great spot. She shoots just wide. Great play by Finotti, trying to get it to the far post, and it went just a little too far. Finotti, the Griff's leading goal scorer, looking for her fifth on the season. Golden opportunity there. We're going to see it again on the replay. And she tried to slot it in that far corner, but she couldn't quite get it there. Lambertson diving. And once again, Finotti gets around the keeper. And the ball goes off her foot and out of bounds. Well, Finotti being extremely dangerous here in the early going. So the Griff's get far and away the two best scoring chances in the early going. That's Kelly Lambertson, the keeper for Marist. Nice move there. And unfortunately, the ball just rolled a little too far. Now, maybe that's because the turf is slick and wet. Mm -hmm. And windy out. Those wind gusts were 25 miles an hour. Well, there's a throw in for the Red Foxes, or the Foxes, excuse me. Ball goes out of bounds. Be a throw in for Canisius. Sure there in the middle of it and now here come the Griffs they'll maintain possession send it back onto their side of the field Aaron Weir on the near side off the foot of Constantino and here come the Foxes there's a cross in the middle blocked at the defense cleared out of trouble and this is um, Aaron Weir again you know, the Griffs maintain possession they'll boot it toward the middle of the field. Teams exchange headers. Now the Foxes put it on the ground. I'm sure all the coaches prefer seeing feet to feet. <laughs> yes, it is a better play. <laughs> and the Foxes have the ball. They've got control. They'll spread them out a little bit, I would think. Pass to Calderelli on the near side. Calderelli has it knocked out of bounds by Finotti. Calderelli will throw it in. And the Griffs will get it up, but not out. Will they get another chance? That goes off uh, Marist. It'll be Canisius ball. Constantino will throw it in. Welton going after it. Her pass is a little too far for anybody in particular. And the keeper, Lambertson, comes out to pick it up. Excuse me, that's Kelchner, excuse me, my bad. Natalie Kelchner, the keeper. 
short goal kick there, knocked down by the Griffins. Taken away by Calderelli one more time. That goes to the back line. And Canisius will have the ball. Boguki. Boguki for Marist in on that play. And now the Griffs come back. Chipping it forward. And good hard play there by Emma Oliphant. But once again, the Marist team will get it out, up but not out. Oh, there's a little shove. They're going to let them play. As here come the Red Foxes. Autumn Smith sending it forward. Ball's loose. And the keeper, Jessica Jones, comes out to grab that one for Canisius. And great the defense by Heath. Little collision right there, as you see. They're going to let him play. Lizzie Harkness hitting the deck with one of the Marist players. Here comes Finotti again. And that ball will go out of bounds. And this looks like a corner kick for Canisius. And it is Sophia Constantino. Now off the, this is Finotti. Dangerous cross, but nobody could get a foot on it. It'll go out of bounds on the other side. Once again, Canisius having the better of play and being much more dangerous so far. Finotti has really had a great start in the early going. That one's knocked out of bounds off the head of Mia Iacona. And it'll be Marist Ball. Griff's keeping it alive. Aaron Weir sends it toward the goal, blocked at the defense, and Marist will send it up toward midfield, but the Golden Griffs get it back one more time, driving down the wing, looking for someone to pass it to. Instead, it'll roll out of bounds, and that will be a goal kick for Natalie Kelchner. Graduate student out of Fairfield, Connecticut. And she'll send it out. It's out near midfield. Oh, nice play there. Well done by the Griss, but taken away by Autumn Smith. She'll send it forward. And the Griss will just send it toward midfield where Canisius has it. They'll look to get it to Finotti, but instead it's taken away. And here, oh, nice ball by Marist. And taken away by Aaron Weir of the Griffs. She'll get it up to Oliphant. Oliphant to Weir, and it goes off of Weir's foot. Looks pretty windy out there. <laughs> yeah. It's not, it's not warm. It's about 40 degrees. And there is the Marist head coach, Brittany Colmel. It's her third year as the coach of Marist. And Marist keeping it alive, but Lizzie Harkness comes up with it for Canisius. She'll send it forward, blocked by the defense, taken back by Autumn Smith. And it comes back the other way. Harkness gets it. She leaves it for Weir on the outside. She'll send it up, but it's too far, and it goes out of bounds. 36-23 to play, first half and scoreless. Marist on a throw-in, headed up in the air, knocked to the ground. Taken back by Canisius, and now they will chip it up into the offensive zone, but Marist gets a foot on it. A couple of players go up to head it there. Now it's back uh, up in the air, coming toward where the Griffs want it to be. And Finotti will let that one roll out of bounds, be a throw-in for Canisius. Melissa Grosabone throws it in. Natalie, Maddie Welton getting it on the ground, taken away by Autumn Smith for Marist. And Marist will send it up toward midfield where it's knocked away. Ball's been a lot in the Marist end. Yeah. Oh, nice through ball, not quite there, but it comes to Finotti. She'll take a shot, goes high over the net. Good offense there by Canisius, good passing. And the shot a little higher, I'm sure, than she wanted it. But another opportunity for the Griffs. They've been dominating the field so far. They've yes, been they keeping have. the it's ball over at Maris' side, and this is how you get a goal. 
There's the goal kick, and ooh, that hit a hand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hit Oliphant's hand, and the referee, I believe, ruled that an advantage was gained. Oh no, it wasn't. It was on the other player because Canisius has the ball. So Constantino, number 13, for the Gris will put her foot into this one. Let's see what happens here. Line shot off the keeper and out of bounds. Kelchner sliding forward, couldn't corral it, went out of bounds, and that will be a corner kick for Canisius. Their second, I think their second corner, if memory serves me. We're going to see this again. Look at her sliding toward the nearest post. Takes a hop. She wanted to catch that and hold on to it. Instead, it went off of her. You see the disappointment on her face. <laughs> As the Griffs have the corner kick. Aaron Weir puts the left foot into it. It's up high. Oh, the keeper got a couple of hands on it. Got it out of there. And now we got a player of Fermaris getting knocked down in the box as the ball hops over the fence. Keeper did a nice job to get two hands on that one and to get it out of trouble. Yeah, Weir is amazing at those corner kicks. She does a great job being a lefty. There are some advantages to being lefty yep. and that the righties <laughs> haven't seen it that often. And now the ball's back in play and that will stay with Canisius. And there's Autumn Smith for Marist off of Oliphant's foot. Now they send it back and Lizzie Harkness chasing after it. She's got it. She'll send it back into the Canisius zone. Sent well forward into a mix of players and knocked away by Samantha Calderelli for Marist. Now Canisius coming back the other way. Benotti spins, tries to get away from one. She'll send it toward the middle of the field. Autumn Smith after it. Slide tackle there. Ball goes out of play. Good There's idea. Maddie Welton. Sorry, go ahead. Nope, good idea. <laughs> That's all I said. <laughs> Maddie Welton there. You take a look at her from Lombard, Illinois. Which I imagine they have pretty much weather pretty similar to ours. Chicago, yeah. <laughs> Midwest. Maybe they have more extremes. <laughs> Ball sent onto the Canisius side. And the Gris will keep it alive. There's a break and Iacona chasing after it. Can she get there? She's got it. She'll cross it right out in front and the keeper Kelsner comes out and grabs that one on the hop. Another good offensive play by the Griffs. Mm -hmm. Keep up that kind of pressure and sooner or later you have a really good chance of scoring. There's a high goal kick headed up in the air. Mm. Taken away by the Griffs. And the Griffs have it. This is Harkness. She's got some room to move. Oh, runs oh. into her own teammate and trips. But there's a long shot that goes wide. Just re that was really unfortunate that Harkness ran into her own teammate and tripped and fell. As you see Harkness right there out of Bolton, England. I have no idea where in England that is. To me, everything is close to London. <laughs> My British geography is not great. <laughs> now here's Marist with the ball on the near side. Leah Barberi, and it goes out of bounds, but will stay with Marist. Yeah, that ball went off of Harkness. So Marist has the ball, trying to get something going. They'll chip it up toward the middle of the field. Knocked down by Canisius Constantino sends it way forward beyond anybody and Kelchner will pick that one up on the hop and no doubt she'll put a good foot into this one right here. Kelchner, excuse me, I said Kelchner. Now Marist trying to get some offense going. Instead, Canisius has it. This is Welton sending it up ahead. And it will come back. And once again, Kelchner, the keeper, will come out and get it. She's had a lot of shots towards her. She has been busy. Yep. Headed up in the air on the far side. Marist will not be able to keep that one inbounds. Mm -hmm. So it'll be Griff's ball. Aaron Weir will throw it in for the Golden Griffins. Canisius 4-4-7. Four, four, Marist 4-4-5. Four, four, 
And this is a huge Mac matchup right here. Taken away by Harkness. She'll send it forward, and I don't think anybody's going to get there for the Griffs, and it'll be Kelchner one more time. We're under 30 minutes to play in the first half, scoreless. There's the goal kick. It hit a couple of different players' heads. Battle for the loose ball. Great effort there by Iacona. And now the Griffs send it forward. And Welton going after it on the far side. And but the Maris team comes back to take that one away. Great effort there by Oliphant, but it just didn't quite get through. And now on the far side, ball kept alive by Marist. Can they keep it in bounds? Nice move there to keep it in. Marist looking to get their first offense of the half, really. It's been pretty much all Canisius offensively. Now Marist, that's probably the longest possession they've had. They'll try to cross it to the field, but it's intercepted nicely. Almost at a really bad bounce for the Griffs. Instead, Canisius comes out of there. Long pass up ahead. Welton with the ball now. She'll drop it back for Iacona. Iacona has it. And she'll try to chip it through looking for a teammate. You know, maybe she had a chance to take another touch or two and fire a shot, but you can't fault somebody for trying to find a teammate. And here's uh, Weir with the throw in, headed. And Marist will, should be able to get this out of trouble. And they send it upfield, stopped by Canisius, taken back by Marist. Colin, and that'll stay with Canisius as Colin Tuno couldn't quite come up with it. Pass was a little bit out of her range. Yep. Now off the throw in. Headed. Good opportunity coming up here, but the defender will shield. Oliphant and Kelchner will come out and grab the ball. So Marist with a good defensive play there. Once again, Canisius dangerous. Now we got three defenders going back and they will push the ball forward. And that ball goes out of bounds. And which way do they say it's going to go? It looks like it's going to stay with Marist. Samantha Calderelli on the throw in. Knocked out of bounds by Canisius, and that will stay with Marist. Marist has had very little penetration deep in the Canisius end of the field. Calderelli looking for a teammate to throw it into. They're moving well. Here's the throw in back to Calderelli. Oh, nice chip there, but once again, the Griffs are there to knock it out of trouble. That's Autumn Smith. She'll send it back to the Marist end. And Maris, that pass will go out of bounds, and you'll see the Canisius uh, coaching staff there applauding. They've got to love the way their team is playing here in the first half. Ooh, chipped up high, going toward the goal. Ball is loose just outside the 18, a shot wide. Well, there's another good scoring chance for Canisius. Unfortunately, they couldn't quite put that one in the back of the net. Iacona took that shot. She's had some pretty good shots this season. We got to get them in the goal. And headed by the Griffs. Maris trying to get it out of there. It's, uh, Autumn Smith got a head on that one. And look at Finotti hustling after it. Goes to the far side. Kept alive by Canisius' Julia Schur. She'll send it back into the Griffs half of the field. And they will send it forward. But it's intercepted by Marist. And Maris trying to push it forward. Instead, it'll come to the side. Harkness was chasing after it. Excuse me, that was Constantino. And here comes Maris. They chip it to the outside. Oh, nice play by Aaron Weir to get it out of trouble there. She got it with the back of her, kind of like her heel there. And now the Griffs send it forward. Stolen by Maris, but it goes off the foot of Calderelli. And it'll be Griff's ball. Here's the throw in. Chasing after it is Welton. Autumn Smith has it. She'll get it right to the keeper. Keeper will put a foot on it. She'll pass it to the near side, and she passes it out of bounds. I'm telling you, if you're a coach and you see that, that's got to drive you crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't like when they head it out of bounds either. No. no. When it's a throw-in. 
Well, you never want to give up the possession. Welton yep. sends it toward the goal, and Kelsner comes out to grab that one. This will be a goal kick. I don't know if that was more shot or pass toward the goal, but either way, Marist has it. Under 25 minutes to play here in the first half, still scoreless. I would say Canisius has had much the better. Oh, beautiful ball and nice play by the defender to get back. But here comes Welton. She'll take a shot blocked by the defender. And that was Samantha Sterno, I believe, getting that one out of bounds. That and ground is very wet. You can see it on their legs and their socks. Oh, how wet it is out yeah. there? Yeah. Well, the turf has got to be soaked, yep. right? Rain. Hail. Hail. <laughs> <laughs> Sleet. <laughs> Not a fun day to be outside. No. So Griff's throw in. And Weir tried to keep it in. She can't. It's a throw in. She'll get it one more time. And Maris knocks that one away. They'll still have it. Now they pass it beyond their own teammate out of bounds. It'll be Canisius ball. And Aaron Weir will throw that one in one more time. And there's a Griff's player falling or getting tripped. No whistle there. There's a pass up on the wing for Maris, but Aaron Weir come, comes back. Oh, Aaron's taken out. And the ball will stay with Marist. Aaron, obviously, right there, wanted a foul. Yeah. There was none forthcoming. Looked like she was tripped. Well, sometimes when you run in front of the opponent. You're going to get tripped. Is that what you're saying? Because yeah. that looks pretty clear. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. maybe the she reaction tripped her. is great. Look at her. <laughs> Look at her. Yeah. That's a great reaction. Great <laughs> shot. Is. by And great job by our crew here. <laughs> Coming forward now. No. Constantino in the corner. Oh, and it goes off her foot. She tried to make a move. She spun, and it hit the back of her foot and went out of bounds. That's just a bad break, I think. I think I saw what she was trying to do. It was a great effort. It just didn't. And there you can see the wind. She's going backwards, and her jersey and her hair are blowing in the wind. And Oh, there's a shove from behind. That one, they called that one. That was pretty clear. Grace Henning. So the 28 or 29, and what? It, there's the shove. <laughs> that was pretty clear, wouldn't you say? Yeah. <laughs> Number 28, Grace Henning called, and this looks like Constantino will put her foot into this one. You see the team's getting ready for the set play. She has a great kick. Long shot, but it goes wide. Yeah. And a missed opportunity there, perhaps, for the Griffs. But we have not seen much of our goalie yet. No. So this no, is no. a good game. Well, did you see Constantino? I think her. I was reading her lips, and she was saying, <laughs> my bad. She wasn't happy with that. But she keeps a positive attitude, and that's what I like about her. This is Harkness now with the ball. She'll try to send a through ball, but there was nobody there. A little too far. This is Kelchner now for Marist. And a high goal kick headed up in the air. Will it stay in bounds? And no. Off the head of Oliphant. And it'll be a throw in for Marist. Fox is looking for some kind of offense. They've really had none. It's been pretty much all Canisius. The only thing to oh, nice, nice move by the ref to get out <laughs> yeah. of the way. Very athletic. That was impressive. <laughs> and now Canisius will get it up and out of their end and chasing after it and getting it is Iacona. Iacona, one defender to beat. She'll stop and pass it off. Harkness Nye, oh, she tried to hit Finodi and it just missed. And we're under 20 minute, 21 minutes to play in the half, still scoreless. Finotti looking for her fifth goal on the season. She is the Griff's leading scorer with four, leading goal scorer with four. She has 10 points on the season. Oh, Canisius getting away with a little push there. Harkness sends the ball up. Harkness to Romero. Now it's back to Harkness again. Now on the near side to Constantino. She'll send it toward the box and it goes off of Either Oliphant or Finotti out of bounds, and it will be a goal kick. So two 
Chris players going toward the net and neither one of them could make that connection. Oh, that just went off of Finotti's knee as you saw on the replay. Unfortunately, she was unable to settle that on the ground and get a shot away. It was from the bounce. And, and you know what, that's another opportunity for the Griffs. They've had a bunch of them. Now they'll dish it off, leave it up high for Constantino. Constantino, nice move there for Iacona, and it will stay with the Griffs. There's the throw in. Oliphant going after it. Three players kind of collide. Oliphant taken away by Maris. They will send it upfield and out of bounds, so the ball will stay with the Griffs. Constantino throws it in, and the Maris team will get it up, but now they'll get it closer to out, not quite out. They got it up, but not out. Now they get it across the midfield stripe, goes off a foot, taken away by Malloy. Nice little give and go there by Canisius. Pass up on the wing, controlled by the Griffs, sent toward the net. That was a pass for Iacona, but it got knocked away. The Griffs still have the ball. Looks like Maris getting ready to make a couple of substitutions. Barberi has it. This is Leah Barberi right here with the ball. She'll send it down the wing, chasing after it. And oh, nice play there by Calderelli. But unfortunately for Maris, that one goes for naught as well. It'll be Griffs on the throw in. Calderelli with a good run down there on the wing, but unfortunately, as I said for them, oh, there's a nice play there. Romero. Sends it up ahead toward the middle of the box. Finotti trying to get a shot away. Can she do it? No, the defender got the angle and was able to turn the ball away from her. Maris now has it. The Foxes just have, have not been had very little possession time, really. Here's Aaron Ware. She'll send it high toward the goal. Knocked away briefly. Oh, Oliphant, that did hit her hand, and they will call that. You, you saw her, it hit her hand. And it did, but the player kicked it towards her hand. So yes, that's where the the rules get funny. But it but when it hit her hand and went right to the ground, she had yeah. an, she got an advantage because yeah. theoretically she should have been able to get a shot by putting it on the ground like mm -hmm. that. Now Romero sends it up ahead. Finotti spins away from it. And Maris will send it up on the wing near the top of the screen. And it's knocked out of bounds. Each team pointing. And the official, the one, the man whose word matters, says, Aaron Weir, you throw this one in for the Griffs. Headed up in the air, takes a bounce. Another head put on it. Spinning away from trouble is Harkness, but the ball will stay. Let's see what they're going to call here. It hit the ref. It hit the referee. He says, is this a drop ball situation? Or are they going to award possession? Well, they're going to give it to Canisius. Malloy sends it back into their end of the field. And now coming Oliphant with the ball. She'll send it back to Grozebol, Grizzibol rather. And now their Kelchner picks up the ball. We'll have another goal kick. Kelchner has been very busy. Mm -hmm. We've hardly seen Jessica Jones. And, and the ball in the Canisius end, and it will not stay in bounds, and Aaron Weir will have another throw in for the Griffs. That one is headed out of bounds by Maris, so Canisius will get a throw in from a little further up the field. And now it's back with Weir, Let's see what she does. She'll dish it off to Schur, and she'll get it back, and she'll send it toward the net. Knocked down by Iacona. Score! And Canisius takes a 1-0 lead at the 15-55 mark. And it's a 1-0 lead. Mia Iacona. Let's take a look at the replay. Here's Iacona. And she puts her foot to it. Nice shot there. Kelchner diving and she couldn't get it. Nice goal by Iacona to give the Griffs a 1-0 lead. That was a great shot by Iacona. That's her first goal this season. Wow, what a shot. She turned, fired, I believe that was her left foot, and beat Kelchner to give the Griffs a 1-0 lead. 
she just turned and shot. She was able to get a, get the shot away, and she found, you know, well, we shoot for that far post. Mm-hmm. She did, and she scored. 15.45 to play in the first half. And Kanisha's got rewarded for all their hard work and offensive chances because they have been by far the better team today, certainly offensively, in my opinion. They'll right. send it to Calderelli, and there's the Marist coach. Trying to figure uh, out what happened. Okay, and we're going to take a look, I think. Okay, both coaches had different reactions to that goal. Ryan Louis, very happy, and I'm sure Brittany Comel, not happy. I'm taking a guess that Comel is not too thrilled with the first half here by her team. Because, and here come the Griffs again. Iacona, one more time. She'll send it toward the net. Oh, chipped oh. up in the air and out of bounds by Oliphant. That was a good thought. Cross it to somebody who's in the middle. Try to get it in. Just a little bit lower kick. There's the goal kick. Headed up in the air. And Marist. Trying to keep that one in bounds and maintain possession. This time they will at least maintain possession. If there's a stat for time of possession today, Canisius has a huge advantage. Mm -hmm. And that one, unfortunately, for the Griffs goes out of bounds, and Marist will throw it in. Marist trying to get something, anything going here. They've been unable to. Here come the Griffs again. They've got the ball. They'll send it back into their end. Now they'll chip it up into the offensive zone. Finotti chasing after it, going into the corner. Can she get there? She does. She'll come out of the corner. She'll cross it. Knocked away by Marist. And Marist will look to move up field. They do. Got a break there. Got a good bounce as it went off a Canisius player. Lauren Schmidt with the ball right here. Let's see what Lauren does. She'll turn, try to go upfield. She'll send it into the Canisius end where the Griffs will get it and send it right back into the Marist end of the field. Battle for the ball here, won by the Griffs. Iacona, the goal scorer, in there battling for it. Comes to Anna Maggie. Ma Maggie, excuse me. And there's Maggie right there, and she will send it way forward, and the Griffs will smartly let that one go out of bounds. Abby Malloy just lets it go. It'll be a Griffs throw in. And you see Coach Comel giving her team some instructions. Off the throw in, played by Canisius, sent forward by Canisius. And they say that ball's alive. They get mm -hmm. a lot of play. Iacona going after it. They don't think the coach liked that one either. No. Your body language tells the story of where this game is. And I believe it is Maris Ball on the throw in. Aaron Weir being shoved. The Griffs will send it up and hit it. And it does stay on the Griff side of the field. Nice play there by Megan Heath. But the ball will now go out of bounds and it will go to the Marist Foxes. Well, the ball's getting down the field a little bit. <laughs> well, yeah, this is, well, this is the first set piece that Marist has going to have right here uh -huh. and this this uh, men's hockey coach Trevor Large walking on campus or taking in some of the women's soccer game TL Trevor Large how about that as the Canisius hockey program and here we are number 24 Samantha Sterno ready to put her foot into this one a high ball toward the net, headed out in front. Oh, just over the net. Nice play there. That was. By Brooke Sergal. They, they very nearly scored there. It's dangerous. There's one header. And Sergal got a foot on it, and it just went high over the net. That's far and away the best Fairfield sequence. 
We'll see if Ferris gets a if uh, Maris gets a little bit of a lift here. Here they come now. Calderelli with the ball. She'll send it to the near side. To Schmidt. Schmidt makes a move. Still has the ball, and it's blocked nicely by Harkness, but it'll be a throw in for Marist, as suddenly the Foxes have picked up their play just a little bit here. Nice play there by the Griffs. Romero with the ball. She spins, sends it back. Uh-oh, bad break there. Comes to Schmidt. She's briefly upended. Sends it to Hodling, but now Canisius takes it away, and the Griffs come back the other way. Oliphant, and she has it taken away by Calderelli. And Romero for Canisius. Oh, stolen by the Red Foxes. Nice play there. There's the cross, a little too far intended for Schmidt. That could have been big trouble for Canisius. They've got that one goal lead, and they don't want to be giving anything up. That was dangerous. Yep. Under 10 minutes to play in the half. one nothing Griffs. Iacona the goal scorer. Now at the top of your screen, you see Marist with the ball, but they'll turn it right over. And the Griffs, unfortunately for them, they turn it right back over. There's a through ball toward the middle. And sent to the wing, and we've got an offside call. Canisius' defense is really good. It's going to be tough for them to get through them. They've played well today, as yep. you see Aaron Weir. Aaron out of North Tonawanda and Niagara Wheatfield High School. And now the Griffs come back to try to play the ball ball Oliphant had it couldn't keep it now it comes to Schmidt Schmidt to Maji now on the far side there's a long shot toward the goal headed up in the air Jones will not have to make a play she'll come out and just grab the ball there looked like um, Maris could have played that better I would think kept it on the ground maybe kept possession yeah I think they were just trying to see if they can get a goal there. <laughs> well, no doubt, no doubt. Right? <laughs> Sometimes and you have to set it up. That's true. Knocked on the ground, comes to Oliphant. Oliphant still has it, trying to make a move. Oh, she gets t has the ball taken away. A really nice defensive play. That was beautifully done mm -hmm. defensively. I think that was Bridget Dujets. Nice play there. Now Marist. Is the ball taken away, but they get it back. Marist been, has been coming on here the last few minutes. Marist with the ball, and they'll overpass it, but they get a break when it hits one of their players and stays in that end of the field. And now Skyler Cornell for Canisius, and it's sent into the Marist zone, comes right back out, chip up ahead, and here, here comes Marist. And that shot was either blocked, but they got a good bounce on getting the ball back. Schmidt goes after it toward the corner. Can she keep it in? No, nice move by Schmidt. Fortunately for Canisius, Constantino was right there. And there's a couple of players sliding and getting tripped, and that'll be a foul on Marist. It'll be Canisius' ball as Romero's a little slow to get up. That had to be a painful collision. Mm -hmm. The turf is not soft. No. And it's probably wet, and it's cold. <laughs> it is. And hard. <laughs> yes. One to nothing, Canisius. 6.49 and counting to go here in the first half. Mia Ayacona with the goal for the Griffs, her first of the season. Long ball up ahead. A little too far for anyone, and Kelsner will let that go out of bounds. It'll be a goal kick. Constantino really has good kicks. She's very accurate with her kicks. Buka Famer into the game for Canisius, wearing number 16. Skyler Cornell, number seven, also in the game. High goal kick, short. Race for the ball, won by Marist, and 
They will simply knock it out of bounds. Grace Henning with Jen Romero chasing after it. And here comes Constantino for the throw in. Yeah, their number 28 seems to be one of their key players on their defense. Grace Henning, there's the throw in. Chipped up. Kept in nicely by Canisius Megan Heath. And we're, it's dangerous territory here now. The Griffs hustling after it. Nice move. There's a shot and a save. I believe Romero took that shot. Mm -hmm. Very dangerous by Canisius again. And now the Griffs have taken whatever momentum Marist had. They've taken it away a little bit. Harkness now Weir. Nice move by Aaron Weir. And she'll send it upfield. And Marist will keep that one alive, but it'll go out of bounds and stay with Canisius. Samantha Sterno had that one go off her foot, as you see Brittany Colmel, her third year at Marist. wonder what she's going to say to her team at halftime. <laughs> she seems to be doing a great job on the sideline, though, really guiding her team. It's a throw in for the Griffs. That one's taken away by Marist. And Aaron Weir... Does a nice job there to get that one turned back in Canisius's favor. As you see Coach Louis shouting instructions to his team. The ball goes out of bounds. It'll stay with Canisius. Coach got her hands on that one. <laughs> it's ball on the ground. Romero had it. We'll go back to the Griffs into the field and they will spread them out a little bit. Megan Heath with the ball. Long pass down the wing. A little too far and taken away by Schmidt for Maris, but now Canisius takes it back. It's Constantino. And then Cellini. And Heath. And Canisius has the possession. Doing a great job of passing. Griff still with the ball. And that one goes a little too high and it goes out of play. Three minutes and 23 seconds to play here in the first half. One nothing Canisius. And here comes Maris trying to get something going. It's taken away by the Griffs. Good spin move there. Well, nice aggressive play by Grace Hodling. For Maris, she hops over a player. She still got it. She gets around another player. She'll cross it, and it's headed out of there nicely. Maris will still maintain possession. That was very dangerous. And Maris still has the ball. It's getting crowded in that area. Canisius wants to get that out of there. Oh, the ball goes right through a Maris player's legs. I think it was Ann Maggi. And Romero comes up with it for Canisius. Now it's loose, taken back by Famer. And the Griffs have it once again. Heath will send it forward. And it's a little too far for anybody, and the ball will go to Marist. Two and a half to play in the first half. One nothing, Canisius. Calderelli will throw it in. Marist looking to get something going here before the end of the half. And now Mar oh, Marist will turn it over one more time. And now Canisius will kind of. Perhaps slow it down just a little bit. They're in no big hurry to do much of anything. If they get a chance, another scoring chance, they'd be very happy with that. Romero spins, sends it toward the box. The keeper racing out to get it. And she makes a real nice play because once it went out of that yep. box, she couldn't pick that up. Exactly. Well, she could have, but it would have been a PK. <laughs> <laughs> she can kick it back in, but she did a good job saving that. She did. Under two minutes to play in the half. And a high ball deep in the Canisius end, knocked away by the Griffs. Abby Malloy got it out of there for the Griffs. There's a bad break for Canisius. It goes off a player and out of bounds. Can Maris take advantage of this? There's Aaron Weir with it. And she'll get it over to Abby Malloy, two of the women from Western New York. Malloy out of West Seneca and Narden Academy. Coming down the wing is Marist. And that ball goes off the Canisius defender. And that will be the first corner kick for Marist. This will maybe Marist, was, uh, Marist has had one or two offensive threats. Samantha Sterno heads to the corner to take this corner kick. 
She sets the ball up as we're under a minute to play in the half. This is a huge moment in this game, certainly for Marist. Sterno puts it up in the air, and it's headed out of there nicely by Megan Heath, number 17. But Marist still has the ball, 40 seconds to play in the half. Long ball toward the goal. Headed up, and Canisius will get that one out of there. Goes off of Oliphant's foot. And it'll be Marist Ball on the throw-in. As you see, number 16, Luca Famer. They're under 20 seconds to play in the half. Griff's in no hurry here. <laughs> they can just take their time. Yep. There's Smart. Abby Malloy. <laughs> 10 seconds to play. And Malloy puts her foot into it. And kept in by the Griffs. Can they get one more shot here? And no. That will do it for the end of the first half. A great half by Canisius. They lead one to nothing on the goal by Mia Iacona. Uh, Cheryl, just a tremendous half. It really was. Playoff game, which would be just great for the Griffs. As we get set to start the second half, there's Maddie Welton for Canisius trying to get those cleats to work on this turf. Puts <laughs> her foot on top of the ball. And we are just about ready to go in the second half. And we are underway as the Griffs have the ball in their end of the field. Aaron Ware stops, sends it backwards, and now it'll be sent forward a little bit. And Maris may be being a little bit more aggressive here to start the second half. Ball in Weir's feet. Goes off the Maris player out of bounds. Should be a throw in, and it is for Canisius and Aaron Weir. Headed up in the air by Finotti. Knocked down by Maris as Maris gets the ball. Chipped up ahead and knocked out. Of, nope, not quite knocked out of there by Canisius. Maris has it. Good defensive play there by Canisius to get the ball way back into the Marist end of the field. Looked like Marist was going to get something going. They did not. That'll be a throw in for Marist. Maddie Welton doing a good job tying up the Marist player there. Anna Maggi for Marist, and she will send the ball way up ahead, too far for anyone, and Jones will get it and stop it. And she can take her time doing whatever she wants. <laughs> we have a one nothing lead. You're in no big rush. Obviously, you'd like to add to that lead. There's the goal kick up high in the air, headed up by Canisius, coming to the near side. As we see Jessica Jones, and the ball comes back to Marist. Now Canisius will get it out of there. Takes a bounce, and Marist... Well, there's a push from behind by Finotti. No call there. It's fin and Finotti gets tripped. And they will call that one and say this will be Canisius' ball. Sometimes Crazy. being small yeah. makes a difference. <laughs> yeah. Here's Aaron Ware. She has her foot on the ball. Yes. We're early in the second half. 43 minutes to play. Still one nothing. Griffs. And Aaron puts her foot into that one, sends it toward the Marist net, headed out of there. And we'll see the Griffs can keep it alive there. Julia Shore sent it back to one of her teammates, headed up in the air, chipped away. Harkness send it out on the wing. There's a shot toward the goal, taken away by Marist, and they will try and shield that one, or they'll just keep it in bounds, and that is Kenesha's ball. After Maris tried to keep that one in, they couldn't quite do it. Constantino, you know, Maris trying to get that ball into the Canisius end, but Aaron Weir is there. It's a pretty miserable weather day here. Rain, sleet, no snow. Well, they're saying partly cloudy, but it's cold, I'm telling you. That it's one of those days, because it's the fall and it's fresh, 42 degrees. Uh, you can really feel it, feel it. Oliphant coming back to turn the Marist player around. And there's a nice pass there. Grace DiVincenzo, she will send it toward the goal. Marist trying to put it on the ground, maybe to get a shot. There's a shot that's kind of blocked, comes to the near corner. DiVincenzo kicks it over the head of Malloy. 
or excuse me, of Aaron Weir. Weir gets it back. Canisius will send it toward midfield. And Marist battling hard to keep this one alive. They'll keep the possession, send it into their half, and start the attack one more time. Henning has it. She sends it up on the far side, driving toward the net. Can Canisius take this one away? Yes, they do. Now Marist working hard to get it back. It's blocked, goes out of bounds. It'll be Canisius' ball. And the throw in, Constantino. And it's headed inbounds by Marist. The Marist Foxes will keep it, and they will turn that one right over. And so far in the second half, Marist, a little bit better of the play, kind of polar opposite of the first half. There's a through ball that almost got through there. Chipped away, kept in by DiVincenzo. Now sent out of there by Canisius. Can they keep it alive? There's a little push in the back as Fanati gets her foot on it. And now Oliphant coming away with the ball. Nice move there. And she will send the ball up ahead. And Fanati chipped it ahead. Welton had it. Taken away by the defense. They'll send it upfield. Blocked again by Canisius. Now Maris takes it right back. Maji. And Maris still has it. And spinning away from a defender. Nice play by Aaron Ware, but the ball stays with Marist. And here's Ware one more time chipping it up and out of that dangerous area. There's a bit of a collision. Welton and Sergal. And now here comes Marist as the Foxes are having the better of the play here early in the second half. Well, maybe they got an earful at halftime and are responding <laughs> to it. They the came out a-blazing. What's that? They came out a-blazing. Yeah. <laughs> Calderelli. Couldn't quite get that one, and it's Jessica Jones. For the Griffs. She's seeing some action this time around. Be better stay alert, right? Yep. And the goal kick is on the shorter side, kept in by Marist. Oliphant got a little nudge from behind as Marist brings it back. Center get into the box, knocked away by Canisius. There's a long, high shot that goes over the net. It hit the top of the net, and it'll be a goal kick for Jessica Jones. And Amaji taking that shot. And Jones will once again have the opportunity to put her foot into the ball. Now, a day like today with the field so wet and slippery, you'd think they would rather maybe pick it up and punt it then kick it off the turf but well, whatever works for her I suppose <laughs> kept in nicely by Marist but nope wasn't kept in it'll be Canisius ball I thought for a moment they had kept that one in I think sometimes they get confused by the lines the yellow and the white I, I can see that mm -hmm. you know Marist sending it toward the goal but there are no Fox Fox's players anywhere near it as Jones puts her knee on it and she will pick it up with Sergal charging after it. Smart because you never know what's going to happen if that goalie's going to keep it. There's a high goal kick. Takes a bounce just out inside that circle. Oh, there's a little shove there. And that one, oh, they're going to call that for Marist. So you see the stat, five fouls for Maris, three for Canisius. Samantha Sterno, and here's the foul right here. Yeah. Uh, she kind of had her arm. I saw that from the beginning. Well, they did kind of lock arms. And yeah, yeah, she pulled it on. There's a long pass toward the goal. And fortunately for Canisius, that will roll out of bounds. That'll be a goal kick. Um. Marist wanted the corner kick. They tried. They didn't they did. get it. And once again, it'll be Jessica Jones, as you see Lauren Schmidt for Fairfield out of West Islip, New York, and West Islip High School. You know, the other thing about all these goal kicks is the wind is probably wreaking havoc with them too, right? I mean, it's it's a windy, I tell you, 42 two degrees and windy and wet is not pleasant. No, it's not. 
but I'll tell you, the game that on Saturday was much worse than this. <laughs> okay. That ball would not stay in place, no matter what they did. Well, was it was it this cold too? It was cold. Now, uh, chasing after the ball is Abby Malloy and Jessica Jones. Jones gets there, and unfortunately, she's kind of forced to simply kick that one out of bounds. It'll be a throw in as Grace DiVincenzo throws that one in for Marist. Nice play by Marist. It'll be another throw in as they act quickly on it. And now, Sterno sends it toward the goal. Oh, right on the ground. Trouble. Kicked up high and away. Bad break there for Marist. Couldn't get a bounce. Dangerous situation. Didn't get the bounce. Welton chasing after it for Kanisha. She doesn't get it on the slide tackle. And Marist will keep that one in, but Welton gets a foot on it the second time. And it comes back to Marist in their end of the field as the Foxes are, have, are having a pretty big territorial edge here in the second half. And now Malloy, or excuse me, Aaron Weir. And then Sure. Oh, it goes off the foot of a Canisius defender, but they're able to get it out of there. And Malloy sends it up on the wing, but too far for anybody. It'll be a Marist throw in. Sterno will handle this for Marist. There's a good look at Abby Malloy. There's the throw in. Battle for the loose ball. And now it's on the ground. Kept alive by the Griffs. Nice spin move there by Fanati. And she gets around one player. Gets it up ahead for Welton. Welton makes a move. She sends it across the field. Kicked up in the air, but it'll come right to the keeper. And as Canisius shows its first offense here of the second half. Kelchner grabbed that one, and now she'll have the goal kicked the other way. And she got a lot on that one, so I'm sure the wind is hurting the Griffs in the second half and mm -hmm. helping Marist here in the second. And that explains why some of the goal kicks have been short or shorter than anticipated. Knocked down by Marist, sent to the near side. DiVincenzo going after it. Abby Malloy battling. Oh, nice play to keep that alive, but she couldn't quite do it. That's a great effort there by yeah. Grace DiVincenzo, and Abby Malloy will throw this one in. There's DiVincenzo out of Mahopac, New York, Mahopac High School, and the University of Connecticut, too. Here's the throw in and taken by the Griffs to Fanati on the outside, but she can't quite get there. And it'll go back over to Fairfield. On the throw in, good long throw in there. Passes a little too far, but they chip it up ahead. That's dangerous. Going toward the goal, Jones looked like she slipped and fell down, and Marist gets it up high over the net. A bad break for Marist right there as Lauren Schmidt had a chance, but was unable to settle that ball down and get it to do anything. And for all we know, that, that could be the wind out there. If it's windy exactly. up high, it's probably just as windy or worse down low. Yep. Perhaps a break for Canisius. And obviously if Jones slipped, it's slippery on that turf. Yeah, I thought I saw her slip. Yeah, she did. And now Jones will see how short the kicks are, goal kicks mm -hmm. are on this side. It's got to be wind related. And the one on the other side was really long. And this will be Canisius ball as Aaron Ware. Puts that left foot into it. And the Griffs control it. Oliphant, Fanoti, nice move there by Tiani. And she'll send it to the far side, headed up in the air by Iacona, and it'll go out of bounds, but the ball will stay with Canisius. So Canisius getting a little bit of offense here in the second half, at least on this segment. Mm -hmm. See if they can continue to do it. There's the throw in, Marist gets it. They'll send it up on the wing. And, but Canisius will get it back, they'll send it toward the goal. Marist gets a foot on it. Headed up in the air, kept alive by Canisius. And now we get the team's trading headers. <laughs> Ball comes back, the Griffs control it. Here's Aaron Ware for the Golden Griffs. 
And her pass is stolen away by Marist as the Foxes look to get out of there into the field. There's a pass up ahead too far for anybody and Jones will have that one. Jones has it. She'll get a little bit of pressure from Lauren Schmidt. Now Schmidt racing back to get back into the play and she does. It's a long pass down the wing and Marist will simply knock that one out of bounds and it will stay with the Fox with uh, the Griffs. Be thrown in by Sophia Constantino. And balls headed up in the air. Up high again by Anna Maggi. And Kanishas has it to Finotti. Can she get a shot away? Oh, it hit the top of the crossbar. That was well, a good shot. What's that? That was a good shot. Yeah. Tiani Finotti almost had her fifth goal of the season. The shot going just a little bit high and off the top of the crossbar. So it'll be a goal kick for Natalie Kelchner. And now Fair, uh, Maris trying to chase it down. It'll hit one of their players feet and it'll stay with Canisius as Aaron Ware will once again be called upon to throw it in. Well, Canisius coming very close here in the second half. There's Welton. She gets knocked down. She had the ball. They're going to let him play. And there's another shove. and They're not going to let that one go. She did not have the ball. And it'll be Griff's ball. Well, Coach Como does not appear to be pleased. And she's cold. <laughs> e even with that jacket. Yeah. <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> Heath put her foot into that one. And Oliphant takes a shot. Oh, again off the crossbar. Two crossbars for Kanishas here. That one just missed. And will Jones come out to get this one? Yeah, she's going to let that Maris player come. And then she'll get the ball and get it out of there. Brooke Sergal racing after it. This is the replay. Got to be the crossbar. There's Finotti's shot. Oh, just missed. Hit the crossbar. <laughs> it's... One of those things. Yep. Why did that bar get in the way of my shot? Nice play by Fairfield right there. They'll send it, excuse me, by Marist. And Marist still has it. And that one will go out of bounds and stay with Canisius. They're doing a good job, Canisius, though, of trying to retain that ball. Well, and now you can see that the clock is becoming a much bigger factor, as we'll see how desperate Marist wants to get here. Canisius would love nothing more. Here's Oliphant and she'll dish it off and they'll get it to Finotti and she'll take a shot. It'll be handled by Kelchner and that ball's probably pretty slippery which I, I'm guessing is why she had a little trouble perhaps handling it. There's a long goal kick headed. And we'll go back and forth a little bit here. Teams trading headers. And we get a whistle, and that'll be Marist ball. Marist definitely came out to win in the second half. Some teams are second half teams. Well, they, they couldn't have been happy with that first half. Right. There's a long ball headed by Canisius, and Megan Heath's header will get out of bounds. It'll be a throw in for. Anna Mag Magi and Marist. And that ball goes out of bounds. It'll stay with Marist. And Marist trying to keep that one alive. Three or four players battling for it. It'll come to Marist. Can they keep this one alive? They'll send it toward the box. Headed up in the air. And Jones comes out to grab that one. A smart, aggressive play by the Canisius keeper. She does appear to be quite calm. She does a great job. She's having a great season. Mm -hmm. And that one takes a bad hop for Canisius. And Marist will briefly oh. control it. And now the Foxes get the ball back. Let's see if they can do something with it here. As the Canisius player falls down, the Griffs get the ball back. And the Griffs push it up the field. Mia Iacona got it back, and now it's sent upfield by Canisius. And fortunately for Maris, they just barely got it out of there as 
Finotti and another player collide and it's Finotti going down. She's up and fine, but she's gonna be very sore tomorrow. Maybe she's not fine. She's bending over there. I don't know if she got hit in the face or the head. I don't know what happened, but it was very physical. And yeah. the referee is calling for the, the trainer. trainer to come out and take a take a look at her. So, so, and now she appears to be okay. As, as Luca Famer, oh, Finotti obviously, a little bit of discomfort. And now she's gathering herself. And we're ready to resume, so no trainers necessary. As you see the substitution rolls, once you're out in the first half, you're out. Second half, you get a chance to come back in one time and only one time. And now the Griffs with the ball, heading it up in the air. Kept alive, couldn't get it to Oliphant. And now Marist with it. They'll send it up on the far side as they look to attack. Hustling back is Matty Ingram. But here, and fortunately for the Griffs, Marist was un unable to run that one down and it's a goal kick. Good effort there by Lauren Schmidt. As you see Lauren running back up the field. There's an idea of how windy it is. See the, see the flag there? Yeah. I don't even think it does it justice. Not so much the flag, it's the pole that you mm -hmm. see blowing. <laughs> I always watch for the players' jerseys and ponytails. That, understood. <laughs> to determine the weather. Yeah, I get that. <laughs> and ball taken by Canisius. And unfortunately for the Griffs, it'll roll out of bounds. Grace Hodling drops it off for her teammate, Samantha Sterno, to throw it in. And there's Nicole Colantuno into the game. I believe she is Maris' leading scorer with five goals on the season. Less than 25 minutes to play in regulation. one nothing. Canisius. Mia Iacono, the goal scorer. There's the throw in. Kept on the ground by Marist. Two Canisius defenders take it away, but Fair, uh, Marist gets it back. There's Oliphant making a really nice play to get it on the opposite side of the field, and Marist is unable to run it down, but the Foxes will keep possession on the throw in. And there's a Canisius player kind of flying, getting off her feet. There's a long shot. Jones on the hop makes the save. Nice save. That's a scary score, one nothing. Well, it's very scary. And on a slippery field, you know, that ball uh -huh. might not have taken a true bounce or might have hit her hand. And maybe because their gloves are wet, it, it, it doesn't play the way it normally does. Mm -hmm. A lot of things could go into it. Under 20, 24 minutes to play now. And there is a <laughs> collision there. <laughs> And that one's going to go the way of Canisius. They sandwiched her and took her they, down. <laughs> yeah, they did. <laughs> they got the call. Hopefully they can use this to their advantage. So Canisius with the ball here. Constantino. Long ball. Great high ball headed. Unfortunately, it went to Marist, kicked up in the air, kept alive by Marist. There's Aaron Weir, but it goes right back to the Marist player. And that's, there was their leading scorer, Colin Tuno, but now Canisius comes back the other way. Ayakuno to Oliphant. Oliphant still has it. She'll get a shot away, but it's wide, and that will simply be a turnover. And it'll be a goal kick for Natalie Kelchner. Well, we've had more shots on goal again. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, that ball's headed way up in the air. And someone tried to put a heel on it to gain control. Comes to Canisius on the near wing. Here's Aaron Weir. And she will send it toward the box, headed out of there by Marist. Kept alive by Oliphant. Her shot is blocked. Goes to the far side where Famer is after it. And now Marist comes and get it, gets it. And they will send it down the wing too far for any of their players. Coming back to get it, though, is Constantino. And Kanisha sends it upfield, taken back by Marist. Now Marist will send it up on the wing. Can they keep it in bounds? Nice move there to keep it in. Uh, this could be troublesome. 
as Canisius gets it up but not out. Colin Tuno was chasing after that one. And here comes Marist one more time. Marist with the ball. Colin Tuno sends it toward the goal. Kicked away by Canisius. Kept alive by Marist. Oh, there's a collision. No foul there. They let him play. There's another collision. And he says play on because the ball's down there between somebody and somebody else. There's a trip. And I think he said no call there, too, as Matty Ingram got the worst of that one. And here comes Marist back the other way into the corner. Knocked out of bounds by Megan Heath. Playing very aggressively. When you're down one nothing, if you're not going to mm -hmm. be aggressive, then when you're going to be aggressive. Nice little give and go, and the shot is blocked by Canisius, and that will be a corner kick for Marist. You see Julia Jones adjusting her gloves and getting ready. This could be her moment. As you see, Anamaji standing near the goal. This will be Samantha Sterno taking the corner kick. There's the header. Well, this has been a, okay. Yeah, this will be a goal kick for Jones. Marist unable to do what they wanted to. There's one of today's officials. He has really let them play. Been a tough physical match. Well played. I still think Canisius has had much the better of play, but in the second half, Marist has really come on. As Jones sends the ball to the near side, kept alive and knocked out of bounds by Iacona. There's the throw in for Marist, chipped up ahead. Kept alive by Marist, all of that. See, there, that ball hit her hand, but no advantage was gained. There's a tackle, or we'll call it what you want, yeah. but that'll be Canisius's ball right there. No foul on that one as Oliphant got taken down. Yeah, there's a yellow card, so you can only so. let him play so often. Yeah, the, she, she wasn't going for the ball. <laughs> that was clear. She was going for her legs. And you get carded. Well, well, th well, this is from earlier in the game, some, some of the collisions. There's one right there. There's one right there putting, trying to get the ball. And did she kick her? Well, yeah. that's pretty nasty right there. And they're going to let all this go. So, and there's another rough play as Matty Ingram gets a taste of the turf, courtesy of one of the Marist players. There's Ryan Louis, and there's some of the fans in the stands today. It's a cold day to sit out and watch any kind of sporting event. And Aaron Ware will take advantage of this after the yellow card. There's a long ball toward the goal, knocked up in the air, and Marist will get it out of there and kept in. And here comes Oliphant to keep it for Canisius, but the whistle blows and the ball will go over to Marist. And Marist will send it upfield. Marist briefly had it looked like maybe a numbers advantage. Marist still has it. Less than 20 to play in the second half. Marist pushing the ball forward. Calderelli sends it forward. They still have it, Marist does. And there's another battle for the ball. Spinning away is Finotti. She's got the ball, pushing the ball upfield. She's got a couple of teammates with her. It's knocked away nicely by Caitlin Bogucki. Bo Boguki. Caitlin Boguki with a good defensive play there to knock it out of bounds, and the ball will stay with Canisius. And the throw in. Oliphant going after it. Oh, they get tied up, and the Marist player fell. There was no call there. Sent high toward the goal, and there's a race for the ball. And Canisius will win that race. My Iacona has it. She's still got it. She'll send it toward the middle of the field. Oliphant tries to knock it down. Kept away by Marist, and here come the Foxes. Nice little move there, but Oliphant takes the ball back for Canisius. Aaron Ware sends it upfield to to Harkness, and there's another collision. Hmm. And that time it was Colin Tuno hitting the deck for Marist. And this is Colin Tuno with the ball. She'll send it up ahead. That pass is a little short. Had it out of trouble by the Griffs. Harkness had it. And now uh, Aaron Weir one more time. She will dish it off to Oliphant. She'll send it straight up the middle of the field, taken back by Marist. And Marist 
trying to get the ball out of there and good play by Finotti to kill a few more seconds on the clock and force Maris to do something that they didn't necessarily didn't want to do. Colin Tuno there looking to get to an opening kept up in the air by Canisius. And there's Marist. Yeah, but this time, Canisius comes back to get the ball now. The Foxes have it, and they'll get it to Maji, and Maji will drive it forward. She'll send it toward the box, but it's knocked away by the Griff's defense. And there's a nice move by Ingram to get around one player. There's a foul, and that one will go Canisius' way as Ingram is knocked down. There's been one yellow card issued, and that was to Fairfield. But as, but as you but as you mentioned, it's been a very physical game. It has been, but that one, the refs definitely missed where she kicked her. She wasn't going for the ball. <laughs> and this is the foul right here. There's a little push from behind. They're going to call that one every time there's a shot toward the goal, but Kelchner comes up with that one easily. There's a good look at the Marist keeper. And the goal kick way up in the air and way forward headed. And Aaron Weir going after it. She's being chased. And now Fairfield putting some real pressure on. Going back to get it is Iacona. She has the only goal of the game. As you see the physicality, Maris 10 fouls, Kanisha 6. And here's Maris sending it toward the net. Yeah, it looks like she almost wanted to dribble that one mm -hmm. with her hand. <laughs> she did not. Ball goes out of bounds. And as you see the fans, it's cold outside, and they look at there's the throw in by Sterno. That's the Canisius men's hockey team supporting their fellow female athletes. Always good to see the other athletes from the school showing up for mm -hmm. another team's game. And this is Sterno on the throw in. There's the throw in headed toward the corner. We're going back to get it. She's being chased by Sergol. Ball goes out of bounds. It's a goal kick. Sergol trying to get that corner kick. She didn't get it. But you can't blame him for trying, right? And <laughs> there you go. There's Colin Tuno pleading her case with the officials, and he will check with his side referee, and he still says goal kick. And now we get a couple of substitutions here as Jen Romero comes into the game for Orkinesius, along with Julia Schur. There's Romero right there. Out of Hamilton, Ontario, St. Thomas Moore. A little bit across the border. For those of you not familiar with the region, headed up in the air. Marist, oh, we've got a Canisius player slow to get up, but she does get up, that's Luca Famer. And now on the far side, ball goes out of bounds. Maris claims it's their ball, and it is on the throw in. On the far side, Marist with it. They'll send it toward the goal. Uh oh, this could be trouble for Canisius. They've got some running room, nice move there. Jones comes out and gets the ball as Colin Tino, Tuno puts her hands over her head and go, how could I miss that? <laughs> Golden opportunity there. Just ran a little bit out of space there and a good aggressive play again by Jones. Under 14 minutes to play in the game, one nothing Canisius. As that one goes off the foot of Brooke Surgol. And now Maris trying to get it back and they do. They send it up high. Headed up in the air by the Griffs. Knocked down to the ground. Fairfield trying, or Maris trying to get that shot. There's a couple of players colliding near some very dangerous territory. Iacona gets it, and Weir kicks it off the Maris player, sends it across the box, but there's nobody home. There's a race for the ball. Can she get there? No, but a great effort. They were missing some players in the middle there to pass that ball to. Leah Barberi, great effort, hustling after that ball in the corner, could not get there. Did you see Brooke Sergol right there, number 26 in the red. Marist has been the more dangerous team overall here in the second half. Canisius has had a, a few, op not too many opportunities, mm -hmm. but a couple. They did hit a couple of crossbars. And there's a Canisius player doing a great job of drawing the foul. 
Julia Schur. And she enhanced it a little bit too, but well done. I don't know if that was practicing the dark arts or not, <laughs> but it was it was a foul, no doubt about that. And she also did a good job of enhancing it. Yeah. And a day like today, when you hit the turf, it hurts. So do it. Yeah, that ball's hard when it's cold outside. And the turf. Yeah. Long ball for Kanish is headed up in the air by Marist. Knocked to the ground by the Griffs. Battle for that ball won by Maris. That's a good battle. Oh, good play by Canisius. No foul there. Oh, yeah, they did call something. Be a throw in for Maris. Iacona getting after it. This is Sterno. Less than 12 to play. One to nothing. Golden Griffins. Looking for their fifth win of the season. And now Maris sends it up on the wing. That's a really nice ball there. Let's see if Maris can do something with it. Maris still with it. Chip toward the goal. And oh, Jones came out and grabbed that one. Now that you can see that Maris is looking for Colin Tuno. And why not? She's their leading goal scorer with five. That's the player that looks like they're trying to get, get mm -hmm. it to. Absolutely. Almost succeeded too that time. And that one will stay in bounds. Kept in by Marist. And now Canisius will send it the other way. And Marist will have it go off a foot and they will lose possession. And Marist gets it back. There's a long ball up ahead trying to split the defense. Kept alive by Sergol. And there's a long shot that, oh, it hit the outside of the post. Canisius got a big break. That ball hit the, maybe it was the inside of it, hit the post and came out a few inches the other way. And this game is tied. Great shot, great break for the Griffs, and here's another look at it. There's the shot as Jones dives and it hits squarely on the post. Mm -hmm. Anna Caldarelli took that shot, and what a break for the Griffs. Take a deep breath there if you're a Canisius fan. <laughs> they got lucky, they got lucky. And there's the ball up to the near side, put on the ground by Maji kept alive by Marist. Marist still has it. Long ball up ahead into the middle. Kept alive by Marist. Marist still has it. Less than 10 minutes to play in the half. Here comes Marist one more time. There's a collision and a tackle. And somehow Marist came out of there with the ball. Great play there by Calderelli to keep the ball. Now it comes back the other way. Canisius huffling at, hustling after it. And that ball is going to stay with Canisius. And you got to love the attitude on the Maris player. Oh, I didn't do anything. <laughs> she puts her hands up as Romero hits the deck. <laughs> at least they try. Yeah, well, <laughs> you have to try. You, you know, I think at some level, all athletes have a little bit of an mm -hmm. actor in them. Mm -hmm. She wasn't acting. That was a foul, clearly. That was a foul. It looks like we've got a substitution coming in for each player. Long ball by Canisius, headed out of trouble, but kept back in by the Griffs. Kicked up in the air. Famer hits the deck. And here comes Marist back the other way with Sergol. Sergol still has it for Marist. She's got the ball. Aaron Weir makes a real nice play to take it away from her and get it out of there. And now Sergol on the near side to Grace Hodling. She'll send it into the middle of the field. There's really no one there. And it'll come to Julia Schur out of Orchard Park, New York and Orchard Park High School. And here's Weir sending it up ahead for Finotti. Finotti back to Iacona. And Maris can't get it out of there. It's Oliphant looking to make a play. And, oh, there's another Canisius player hitting the deck. No call that time. And Megan Heath got a hit on it, but it went out of bounds. As you see Fanati coming back in along with Leah Barbari. So, a couple of substitutions there. Excuse me, that's Barbieri. Leah Barbieri. And now the Griffs. With under eight minutes to play, Nice is looking for that second goal, which would be a backbreaker. There's a long pass up ahead. 
And they'll tap that one back to the keeper, Kelchner. And she will send it up on the near wing on the near side. It's knocked down by Schmidt. Schmidt going after it, sure with it. Julia Sure. It goes off the foot of a Maris player. Iacona was after it. Sterno sends it up on the wing. It's Aaron Weir one more time getting it out of trouble. And now Sterno comes back for Maris, sends it up, but it's taken away by Iacona. She spins away from a defender. Drops it off to Sure. Sure. Up in the middle for. Romero, Romero sends it up on the wing for Finodi. Finodi still has it. Finodi, oh, nice defensive play to get it away from her there. And another nice play going the other way, that time by Canisius. The ball sent high toward the goal, and Kirchner comes out. Kelchner comes out to make the play, and she's beginning to urge her teammates on. You can see her, and she gets her foot into that long goal kick. And the ball, um, Aaron Weir will let the, that one roll out of bounds. And it'll be a throw in for the Golden Griffs. And once again, now the Griffs are in no hurry here. Six and a half to play in the second half. One to nothing. You can see the wind is blowing. And we had a graphic earlier said 42 degrees. As we get Autumn Smith coming back into the game for Marist. And that just took 15 or 16 <laughs> seconds exactly. off the clock. And here's Kelchner. See how slippery that ball is? Yeah. <laughs> Looked like she really had trouble handling that. Her punts are very different, too. It's almost like they hit the ground first if they show it here now. Well, you've got to figure your hands are really cold, your mm -hmm. body's cold, and it's wet and slippery, so how do you grip the ball? And well, all of her punts have been that, so I think that's the way she punts. It's just a little different from what I normally see. Coming down the wing, Oliphant chasing after it, and it's knocked out of bounds by Sterno for Marist. And it'll be a throw in by Canisius. For Canisius, they'll leave it there for Aaron Weir. Who has a great throw in. Canisius ball, Welton. Sends it back to Weir. She'll send it across the middle of the field looking for Finotti. She tries to spin and get a shot away. She spun. The ball rolled out. She'll be able to keep that alive. Go down the wing, and she, she'll try to clear it for Oliphant, but she was slipping and falling as she did it. Now here comes Maris down the other way. Can they get to that ball before it goes out of bounds? And the answer is no. So it'll be a Canisius throw in. Maris has a lot of fast players, I'm noticing. Less than five minutes remaining in the game. Canisius with that one nothing lead on the goal by Iacona back in the first half. Sent up on the wing by Marist out of bounds. It'll stay with Canisius. Now Marist, that clock now working really hard against Marist, against the Foxes. And Canisius doesn't want to make a mistake in their own end. Headed up in the air. Weir will simply get it up high and out of there. And it'll be headed back the other way by Marist. Now put on the ground. Really nice play there by Lizzie Harkness for Canisius. And Weir will once again send it deep downfield. And Canisius will get to that ball. And it comes to Iacona one more time. She'll take a left-footed shot. Very dangerous. And Oliphant chasing after it. And she can take her time here. She's got some space. She makes a move to get around that defender. Doesn't do it and lets the ball roll out of bounds. And Canisius has earned a corner kick. Very nice play by Emma Oliphant. Oliphant. That was a smart play. Very smart. Yep. And that clock continues to tick. The Griffs looking for their fifth win of the season. And here comes Aaron Weir to take that corner kick. They need to take advantage of this right now. No, they'll just yeah. run a little play off it. They didn't want to put it up in the air. And now, but they'll keep the ball alive off that play. And there's a battle mm. for the ball. And there's two Maris players are going to win that one. They'll send it up on the wing. Goes off another Maris player's foot. And going back to get it is Abby Malloy. And Jones comes out and puts her foot into it. Maris really looking hard to keep this one alive. And here they come. Sterno sends it to the middle of the field. Knocked down by Marist. Kept up in the air by Canisius. And Finotti gets a foot on it. 
Iacona sends it to the near side for Constantino. And she'll send it up way ahead. It'll go out of bounds. Be a Marist throw in with less than three minutes remaining. Marist really needs to find an answer quickly. As the ball is headed out of bounds and it will stay with Marist. Well, a tough one. I didn't see who head it went off of. Well, it was great because <laughs> all the players were pointing the players for Canisius pointing yeah. to Canisius, the Marist players to Marist. <laughs> and then the referee said, nope, goes this way. And here is Autumn Smith sending it on the far side. There's a nice move. Grace Henning. And she'll send it toward the goal. Chipped up high in the air. That could have been really dangerous. Mm -hmm. Two players collided and one of them somehow it hit someone's foot went up in the air and Jones was there to grab it for Canisius. A uh, little bit of good fortune there because you didn't know how it was going to bounce. Less than two minutes remaining. Under two minutes to play. Desperation time for Marist. Both these teams have been involved in a lot of ties. There's a Canisius player hitting the deck. There was no call made as Marist has the ball. A nice play by Canisius to keep it going. Coming to the near side, Sterno sends it up ahead and headed out of bounds by Weir. Barbieri couldn't quite get there. Weir got there first. Minute and a half to play. There's the Marist throw in. Can they keep it on the ground? They do. But can they maintain possession? They do not. And it's sent back into the Marist zone. And here comes Canisius Oliphant with the ball. Oliphant, nice move there, but she can't finish it off the play there as Marist sends the ball up ahead. And now Megan Heath sends it the other way. Colantuno was looking for that pass, but here's Oliphant one more time. Less than a minute remaining. Canisius with the ball, Oliphant with it. The Griffs can just work some clock here. And Marist will send it upfield. Time for Marist to pull out all the stops. And here come the Foxes. There's a trip, and they're gonna be, it's going to be a Marist ball right here as the clock continues to tick. Less than 40 seconds. Marist looking for that final minute miracle sterno sends it up high in the air headed out of trouble by canisius and marist will send it up high this is very dangerous toward mm -hmm. the goal can they get a shot away not yet kicked out of there headed they trade headers the ball's loose and fortunately canisius gets it 15 seconds the griffs can run out the clock here 10 seconds and iacuna iacuna gets it up Knocked down by Weir, and the buzzer sounds, and Canisius has a 1-0 win over Marist. A great win for the Griffs, their fifth one of the season, a devastating loss for Marist as Canisius comes even a little bit closer to perhaps hosting a playoff game. And there's your goal scorer, Mia Ayacona.